Nicknamed Sal the Barber, Sal McGlee pitched for five different teams from 1945 to 1958. He was given that nickname because he liked to pitch inside to hitters. His imposing presence on the mound was unlike his gentle personality off the field. He was the last of the 14 players who played for the three teams in New York City at the time. Besides the Dodgers, Giants, and Yankees, McGlee also played in Cleveland and in St. Louis with the Cardinals. He was banned from Major League Baseball for five years because he joined the Mexican League for more money in 1946. He did not become a full-time pitcher in the big leagues until age 33. He became a starter with the Giants mid-season in 1950 and threw four straight shutouts and had 45 consecutive scoreless innings. He led the National League in wins in 1951 with 23, helping his team reach the World Series. He won 18 games the next season, but bat trouble threatened his career the following year. He returned in 1954, winning the game that clinched the National League pennant for the Giants as the team went on to win the World Series. He was claimed on waivers by the Indians on July 31, 1955. He was seldom used by them and he joined the Dodgers in May of 1956, finishing second in Most Valuable Player and Cy Young Award voting. He pitched a no-hitter versus the Phillies on September 25th. He played three more seasons before retiring in 1959. He had a career 1-2 record in the World Series and appeared in two of baseball's most famous games, The Shot Heard Round the World and Don Larson's Perfect Game in the 1956 World Series. After his playing days, he worked as a scout, pitching coach, with the Cardinals, Red Sox, and Seattle Pilots. The stadium in his hometown of Niagara Falls, New York, now bears his name. McGlee passed away in 1992.